as a as a as a, as a Westerner or uh, Anglo-Saxon, somebody who's you know not from Mauritania, from Africa, from the Muslim world, you're gonna be sitting, you're gonna be uh, breaking bread with them or having tea, and the conversation will come up, the topic of, so are you Jewish? Are you Christian? What are you? And this again goes back to the direct get in your business because they say don't discuss politics and the religion as off limits <laughs> in Mauritania, as is the case of a lot of the regional, especially, you know, they will ask you, what are you? Be prepared to say, uh, not, the, not that you're going to lie to them, like I said, but rather be very creative. One of the ways when I used to go around and teach is people say, sir, I, I, don't, I don't believe in God. What am I supposed to say? And I will say, you know, choose a God, for example, for not to deceive, but to accomplish your mission. I found out recently, <clears throat> even with uh, people who are not deploying, these are just friends of my circle, they will say, to avoid that direct answer, they will say, you know, I'm still searching for God, which is a very creative way. Because you, you, you tell somebody, I'm searching for God. You don't tell them what you are. You didn't tell them you're atheist or agnostic. You didn't tell them you're Christian or Jewish. You just tell them, I'm, I'm looking for God. But rule number one, never say you're atheist. Because for a lot of reasons. One of them primarily is <clears throat> that's called the infidel or the kafir, uh, the non-believer. Uh, literally, not from the... Uh, from the position of the enemy, Taliban, Qaeda, whatever. It just regular Muslim would not associate with somebody who is not a believer uh, because it is cautioned uh, not to be part of that. So do not walk the path of the Kafir. Not the Christian or the Jew. Because a lot of Muslims have married and they continue to marry Christians and Jew. Okay, especially for the male, for that is.